Hey guys, it's Zox here, coming at you with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at my uh, personal strategies on how to beat the solo battles and how to get the most points. Um, now, I am not a uh, professional at this, so I wouldn't say, well, I wouldn't say professional. I'm not very good at executing the defensive part. The offensive plays are very easy to use, um, very easy to score. But the defensive plays for me are probably the hardest of the solos or part of the solo battle. Um, it's just mostly user and stuff like that. But as we get into the first play, we're going to be picking, let's get past this play rating of Bacon Rayfield. And then um, we'll be looking at the play that I will be picking. Um, now the play is going to be under gunshot ace offset it's gonna be y sale um i will be going over how to find that after this drive as i forgot to um go through the formation how to find it when i was recording this as this is pre-recorded but as you can see right there the tyler eifer is wide open for a nice 31 yard gain you do want to run hurry up offense the main goal is to slant that uh slant evan ingram across and then you're gonna scramble to the right with Baker. Now, when you, as you can see right there, Evan Ingram wide open for a quick 25 yard gain. But now, if the defensive end is pressuring you from that and you can't scramble, you try and wanna either look for Saquon or you're gonna look for um, Evan Ingram. Well, the majority of times, Evan Ingram will get open as Saquon does pull that off, uh, outside linebacker down to him. And then Evan Ingram gets wide open. And if, even if it doesn't happen like that, um, the linebacker will cover Evan Ingram most likely and then uh, Saquon Barkley will be wide open. But as you can see, and I believe that was four plays or five plays, we scored a quick touchdown. Now for defense, we're going to be running this mid blitz. Um, again, I do not think I went over how to find it in the formation on this first drive, but we will be looking at it um, after this. All right, so let's take a look at where to find this formation. You're gonna go to form uh, this blitz. You're gonna go formation. You're gonna go nickel. And you're gonna slide over to two, four, five DB uh, a gap, and you're gonna pick the man blitz. It should be in that column. Majority of playbooks do have that, so you do not have to buy that. Um, now, for the offensive playbook, um, I use the Giants. I'm not too sure if that playbook or if that play is in other playbooks. If it is, let me know and. Uh, Leave it down in the comments and I'll pin it to the comment section and uh, so others people other people can know. But as you can see, I move Landon Collins on to Brent Selleck and then I move Marcus Joyner on to the running back. Now there's two plays you guys have to worry about when running this mid blitz. You have to worry about, as you can see, the screen and you have to worry about outside handoffs or quick little like dink and dunk routes, like out routes and stuff like that. I figure out, I found a way to uh, counter those dink and dunk routes is really just pressing or pressing to the outside um, but it does not always work as you can see there I got baited by the play action um, almost got the quarterback but again guys uh, this is a very simple two plays on offense and defense to do it's not very hard it's just the user skill has to get uh, you have to have good user skill in order to watch those routes and everything like that. Um, now, if you have slow corners and stuff, like I do, like Rob Wilson isn't that fast, um, I do not recommend going to press. If you do have very fast or very big corners, you could probably go into press against these guys and make the uh, blitz get there even quicker. Um, now, I believe I did have five sacks and interceptions. We will go over the stats towards the end of the game, but, um, a lot of times if you do have good users or you have good coverage on the play, the defensive linemen or linebackers on the blitz will majority of the time get to Ben Roethlisberger as you can see right there as I'm speaking, Reggie White does get that sack on Big Ben, forcing him out of field goal range for them to punt it. So now it looks like I'm going to get into where to find this. You're going to go to concept, you're going to go medium pass, and you're going to pick Salem, and you're looking for the play Y Sale. Now you can also find this by going formation, going to gun, going over to ace offense, and then finding Y sale from there out of the flood concept.
So now I'm just gonna um, stop talking for now, guys, and let the gameplay speak for itself. Um, if you guys have any questions on how to do stuff better or how to uh, execute the play better, just leave a comment down in the description, or sorry, leave a comment down below, and I will try to reply as soon as I can. But if this guy's helped you, if this video helped you guys out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you can fast forward to the end of the video to see my stats towards the game. I will leave a uh, quick link in the description to the uh, when we go over the stats, when I go over the stats. So look in the description if you want to see that, see the stats, and see the amount of points I got. I believe I got 23,900, I want to say, or 23,200 or something like that. So um without further ado guys i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like comment subscribe and here is the rest of the gameplay
All right, so here are the stats for Baker Mayfield. He's 137.8 uh, passer rating, 21 completions out of 25 attempts, 289 passing yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Um, we do not run the ball unless we do uh, scramble with Baker. Um, right here we have 2.5 sacks with Reggie, one with Young, one with Strahan, 0.5 with uh, Merciless, and 0.5 with Dion. As you can see, we do have that uh, interception from Landon Collins. But definitely, guys, if you can figure a way to execute the mid blitz uh, user and stuff like that, um, you'll be able to get 23,500, which is what the points you need to average in order to get into the top 100. Um, as you can see, we scored 20, uh, 23,132, and we gave up two points and uh, two touchdowns and through an interception. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this guy's helped you out. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Sit down. Uh -huh.